back here on top of the octagon that we're building in the parking lot, which will be hoisted up there on top of all those walls. These walls are the same length as those walls, so we'll set those walls all in place. Ka chink, ka chink, ka chink, ka chink, ka chink, ka chink. And then we'll pick this up like a giant top hat, set it on there, all the plywood, everything should be pretty much complete. So hopefully we have minimal time up on the roof and also minimum, minimal exposure to the elements over there. But yeah, this is all the trusses they gave us. It's uh, trusses have a way of taking a shape that's like mathematically, like really clean and beautiful, like an octagon with nice hips, you know, 45 degree angles, 22 and a half degree angles, all the same pitch, all side. It's really clean, but then you chop it up into a fucking grid and it just ruins everything. So the profile of this will be an octagon, a flat octagon up top. This whole area will be an octagon platform. Then you can see how the trusses are all broken up into different pitches. This truss is one pitch that's broken into two pitches so it you know can plane out to that corner where the hip would land and then this will <laughs> wherever this point is will plane out to that one so it just takes a you know what would be a nice clean hip number and i have to start it stop it start it stop it start it stop it same thing on all four sides plus all the rafter work so i mean really what did the trusses accomplish here other than just make something that would be really clean framing and fuck it up right but i guess structurally they're very strong there's like a thousand pounds at each connection thousand pounds per point load so that's quite a bit of weight this thing can carry and it's going to be necessary because we have a brass onion that's well as big as this octagon sitting on top there it's going to be like another 18 feet or something above this it's a monstrosity so just thought i'd share what we had going on in order to build this in the parking lot i had to laser it all in you know to get it level um so you can see the grade there It'd be pretty impossible to try to frame this thing fucked up on the ground and then expect it to ever be right in the air so we have to start level there's a ton of bracing in here where i kept the lengths and then also the diagonals so this thing will hold true while we put the roof together on it and then after we get it all framed the next challenge will be rigging it in a way that doesn't destroy it <laughs> when we when we pick it up you know it's pretty big it's 28 feet it's got to go up there on top of these walls which are like 12 by 18 feet so all the stud layout on these knee walls are stacked on top of these layouts it's all coordinated and the reason we did it this way is because we couldn't just build the roof system on the ground without setting it on something. I suppose we could have used just a top plate, maybe. But we thought breaking it up into a smaller knee wall would be sufficient, you know? So, that's what we chose to do. You can choose to do it a different way when you build your octagons. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in.